Hello guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Wing. My name is Aaron Minjut. Today we have a deck profile for you. We'll be looking at more standard decks and maybe even expanded decks in the weeks to come. This is just a new way we like to do things. We'll also be streaming more often, so do check back to our channel. But for today, we'll be looking at a deck that we think, or at least I believe, would see some play at this weekend's League Challenges. FYI, there will be two League Challenges here in Klang Valley, Malaysia. One on Saturday at Toys Bar, Damansara. And another one on uh, Sunday, and that would be at Klanajaya at Cards and Hobbies. So today we're taking a look at a deck which uh, I have personally played for a good four to five months now, ever since it was released in, I think it was May, April, May of this year, uh, when Gardens Rising, Gardens Rising was released. Uh, it has not changed too much since then, but this is the list that I've been working on as of today. So uh, today we will be having a very quick deck overview and we'll have a few games with the deck. And I have my friend Ismail Amani online with me today. So we'll be challenging him to a match right after this. So Espion Gabro is a deck that many didn't see or believed to be good after the rotation to the new format as of the 1st of September. But essentially, it's still up there among the decks to watch out for. So, the, the deck mainly runs Garbodor, uh, both the Garbodoxin one as well as Trashalange, alongside Espion EX, Espion GX, sorry, to deal massive amounts of damage in the early game. You also have some utility cards here and there. Let's go through them very quickly. So, for start, we run three EVs. This is a, a card that I would think would easily be a four off. For most people but i stuck with three we have a total of three espion gx a very strong card a very strong attacker uh psy beam very annoying psychic very uh very high impact divide gx a very powerful gx attack and the reason why part of the reason why espion is so powerful is because ev has energy evolution so when you attach a basic energy you can search a deck for a card that evolves from ev that corresponds to the same type of energy and just evolve it. You can even do it on your first turn. If you're going second, you can even attack on your first turn. I run one Tabu Koko. So it's mainly for flying flip, there's not a reason why. And also for the free retreat. Flying flip adds pressure onto your opponent's board. Uh, I run one Espion EX. This is one of your win conditions if you're up against a deck that has very high HP stage 2s or even stage 1s for that matter. I run three Tapu Lele GX. Well, it goes without saying, one attack, very good ability, energy drive, very uh, efficient attack. But the Tapu Cure GX, GX attack is also quite uh, interesting because since you run Psychic Energy, you can easily run this in your deck, uh, play it during a, during a match. Uh, Trebbish, nothing much to talk about. I run three Acid Spray and one Stop Off. This is a personal bias from me because I actually like having one stomp off in a deck. Uh, it helped me very much in um, Garbodor Mirrors back when I played this deck in Indonesia in July. And so we have a 2-2 split of Garbotoxin and Trashlange. Garbotoxin a very powerful ability that shuts off other abilities when you have a tool attached. Uh, nothing really new about this card, we've seen it before. And 2 Trashlange, very uh, high impact, high damaging attack for just a single psychic energy. So I run a 2 2 split. I think right now it's very important to lock certain abilities uh, while also giving you a chance to, to damage with the Trash Lunch. Uh, let's go to the supporters. So I run a full suite of 4 Sycamore standard, 4N, free standard as well. I run 3 Guzma. I would like to have the fourth, I can't find the space for it right now. I run only a single Bridget. Now this is uh, something which uh, you need to maybe consider. I actually ran two, ran two Bridget two weeks ago. Uh, and this is a new inclusion that I'm, I'm trying out. There is one Stadium card, which is a Peril City. I find this to be a very important Stadium card. There was two initially, but now we only have one Space Constraints. We play a full four Choice Band and full four set of Float Stones, two very high utility item cards, 4 Ultra Ball, pretty standard, 2 Field Blower, also almost a staple 
in most decks. Uh, one rescue stretcher and one super rod for recovery. I actually preferred two stretcher before a few days ago. Uh, so a little bit of background why there's a super rod. I played this deck list almost as exact deck list uh, two weeks ago, a week and a half ago at League, and I went for O with it. That list had the second Bridget, the second Paralicity, no SP on EX, and I played two rescue stretches instead of one rescue and one super rod. I lent this deck to my friend Armani, who played it to a 4 0 win on Sunday, just last week, last weekend, three days ago. Uh, his changes were to remove the second Bridget, to add the Espion EX, and he recommended me to switch into the Super Rod. That's why we're playing it today. Uh, and for energy count, very simple 8 Psychic Energy and 4 DCEs. So, all in all, I think the deck list is. Um, Pretty much here, pretty much optimized right now, I, as far as I believe. I still really like the second Bridget, but I'd like to try this out today against Armani. So, without further ado, let's go challenge him. Here it is today. I was setting a challenge, and I'll be using Espion, GX, and Carpador. And here we go. So, our first match. So we're playing three full matches with uh, Armani today. <clears throat> and yes, we'd like to go first. This is not too bad a starting hand. And I'm not sure what we're playing against. Alright, so it looks like we're playing as Vulcanian. Now, this hand is is alright. We, we don't have to really speed up. We can take it slow. So I'd like to see. So we got the Bridget, which is great. Let's just check through what else is priced. Uh, so we have one EV priced. One Espion GX prize as well. One Trubbish prized, one Garbodor. And one Psych Engie. Alright, not too bad. Our prizes are pretty okay. So it could be Volcanian we're playing against. We could also be playing against uh, Ho. -Oh. I'm not sure if he's the kind of guy that runs Volcanian Ho. -Oh. I'm gonna pull the. Energy evolution up and running straight away. And we'll pass the turn. <clears throat> we have a few options next turn. We can goose something up. So that's an Oranguru. We could goose something up to get the um, Espion Jax up there. Or we could evolve stuff uh, we could easily evolve into a Garbodor okay so he ends this there goes that play but it's all right not too bad a hand we just need to get the trubbish out of the way All right, so that's a Salandit. So that's definitely a um, a Salazzle deck, a whole Salazzle, I presume. Right, that's a whole. So this is quite clutch. We can actually take out the um, the slanted right now if we wanted to, because there's an energy on it. Uh, and we can also lock. Oh no, we don't have tool. Never mind. 
But yeah, we can actually take out the um, this landed using divide. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So energy here. And our lele. Let's take out, let's bring in the, um, the whole, live in the active position. We don't really need to play anything right now. We can just hang on to all of these and I'll just go for the divide. And the clicking begins. Uh, let's see, we we'll probably put one damage counter on the ho -Oh to make it a very nice round number for us to hit with Psychic. 180 is fine, we don't have to do any more than that. Uh, we should put one on the Volcanion, so it becomes within range of uh, Psybeam plus Psychic. Uh, this is 120 HP, I don't, don't think we need to put damage there. Mm. We have 10 more damage. I wonder where should we put it. I guess we put a hole. Doesn't really matter at this point. This will take two hits. This will take a couple hits. Yep. So take a prize. Another Espeon. That's good. So we have gotten all Espeons out of the prizes. But we still have an EV in prize. Don't forget. Oh yes, uh, if you guys can take a look behind, we have a new backdrop. <laughs> so all the seal product that I have will be on display. I'm also thinking about getting a new camera soon to get uh, better quality recordings up for the stream and for videos. Right, so let's see what happens here. Okay, so Sycamore. So he runs a hybrid build of sorts. I don't, I don't seem to understand a little, like how he's fitting everything in, but it's very tight list, I presume. Yep, so it's just a pass. Now this is does this great card. It's just that we probably don't really have a way to get it up and running but i think we can target down the volcanian on the bench so we can go psychic energy here get a new espion so we can grab the guzma So we can save the um, the SP on the bench for the volcano when it's out. And a good part about it is that since this volcano already has a tool, a flowstone will not bail him out from this situation. Only a Guzma. Kind of fine energy. We have to be careful about a large uh, volcanic heat. Just in case. Another sycamore. So that's the second hole. And a sadazzle. Oh, so he also plays a titanator. Ready for the flip, and it failed. Uh, so this is the problem with our hand right now. We don't really have any way out. Uh, we also should check out the number of items. He's played three items. So now we could consider whether do we want to go and grab a, um, a Garbodor. I think we can. Ditching these two cards. Uh, trash the lunch one. 
Um, at this point, it doesn't really matter, but um, I can put it here. I like to hang on to this energy to see what happens. So we just go for a side beam. We are pretty much in top deck mode, unfortunately. And uh, we have played uh, two of our Guzmas. That's another item. Another item there. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yep. It's a fail search. I'm not sure if he has prized his other Salazzle. Right, so that's three sycamores in a row. <laughs> I'd like to draw a supporter. He's also ditched one of his field blowers already, so I would presume a standard list would have two. That would mean that if we do have a Garbotoxin up, he probably wouldn't have one field blower to get rid of the tool. This energy onto the Turtonator. There would be three fire energies in the discard on his next turn. Ah, it gets hits. That's pretty good. Hmm. All right. So we should lose a um, the Zespion next turn, which isn't too horrible because then we free up a space on our bench. So I'm just going to go and attach this Psychic Energy here. And I'll take a price. Um, I can just bench this, uh, evolve this, because if he does enemy, then at least I just need to draw to a Float Stone. Yep, let's just go for that. Get another price. It's an Energy. I think we're in an okay position because all we need right now is probably field blower plus choice ban for our Garbodor to start hitting for a lot of damage. I think we can knock out the Volcanian and the whole, except the Turtonator, I think, at the moment. So it's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. So that's seven items in the discard. A few blower would make it nine. We have not played a single one yet. But the question is, does he have the energy? He needs one on either the Turtonator or the Volcanian to take a knockout on this Espion. <clears throat> no 
Okay. That's eight items. Oh, he's going for Kiawe. All right. Interesting. I should still be able to bait out the Espeon, I think. We'll probably charge up a Lele and see what happens from there. I can't really do much with this hand anyway. There's no point playing a super rod. Yeah, drawing dead is not fun at all. So does Guzma. Yep, he's going for... Oh, okay, going for Garbodor. That's a good play. So my question is, where do I go from here? I can take out a Volcanian if we get a choice ban, and we have not seen a single one. We know none of them are priced. So this is the optimum route. <laughs> right, all right, so. <clears throat> I think I will still want to super rot, do I? No, I don't. I don't really want to super rot. I want to discard these cards. Um, I still have my rescue stretcher, so we can still get the the um, the treasure lunch carbador back. But I like to bench the rubbish. I think that's, that's the right play here. I could probably discard a despion. Yeah, I should have done that, but I think it's okay. So we do hit the choice band, we hit 3 actually. So this is good, this is key, right? Because we hit the field blower and we can get rid of the um, the tool of the Tetanator, which is something I like to do. And I think we should also get rid of the, um, let's see, the Rangaroo doesn't really matter, I guess. We should take away the Slandit's choice band. Um, it does have one energy already attached to it, so let's just do that. So, choice band down here. I uh, can hold on to these choice bands, but I would definitely want to lock up this turn in case he has a lele or we, to make sure he can't instruct as well. Yep, this looks good. I would also put that choice band down on the S I think. So that's fine. And let's go for psychic for the knockout. So we got all that we needed from that sycamore. Alright, so we drew both the basics that we we didn't have at the start of the game. So the prizes are one trash lunch garbador and I think what's the other card? Oh gosh. Was it the Pearl City? I can't remember now. So our money will need a lot to to kill this Espeon. Um, of course, the whole would be able to if it had a um, choice band. He's already down three. 
If he has a 4, then yeah. That's 20. Okay. Now let's clutch. <laughs> we are top decking very well. I'm so sorry. And that's game. Oh, that was a DC, so I didn't really calculate my energy as well. Right, so that's one game. Great, let's go for the second round. So it's three full games for this video. Oops, he's playing the same deck. <laughs> that's fine, I think, I think it's fine to go for a rematch. It's okay. Guess I'd like to go first as well. This is good. Okay. All right. So we have a choice here. Mm. But I think the choice is quite obvious, isn't it? We parallel. Uh, we choice ban, choice ban. Get out the second EV. EVs are good. Oh, I should have dropped the choice band on this EV. Oh well, never mind. What's done is done. This is good. NG to the front. We don't need to bench that EV, we need to search our deck first. So we have all three Espeons. We have all Trubbishes. We are. We have all the Garbodors. Espeon. X is negligible, Coco's here. Uh, we have all Lele's, wow, okay, so we probably price a lot of trainers and energy then. Field Blowers are here, Rescue is here, Rod. One Ultra Ball. So we price one Ultra Ball. Oh, did we? Oh, we price two Guzmas. Um... One choice ban, and that's double floatstone's price. Wow. Okay, all DCs are here, and all the second energy are here as well. It's alright. It's pretty good. That's that's okay. I think it's not horrible. And we probably shouldn't bench anything more. Let's just go. So the parallel here is quite key because I don't think he plays any stadiums, he doesn't play Brooklyn Hill. The only way he can remove this is playing a field blower. And if there's a field blower, blower being played on the parallel city, but I don't have a garbage auction up, that's one more uh, field blower that he would not have, as well as one item in the discard for trash lunch. So that's good. It's good. Probably has the Floatstone or Guzma here. <clears throat> yep, so it brings out Trubbish. Oh, okay, brings out Eevee. Not sure if I agree with that play. Oh, 
Oh, okay, unless he can go for the knockout <laughs> with double Volcanion. Oh. So we know he has a Sycamore in hand. And another Fire Energy. Hmm. I'm actually okay with evolving this and just going from there. Do I want to end away this hand? It looks like a pretty good hand. I have to lock up if I want to. So I know he's going to seek him more anyway. I'd rather do it on himself, on his own. But I can definitely bench this, uh, evolve this. I mean, let's do that. So we get the lock up. I go side beam. So he has to deck for the float stone or the Guzma if he is able to top deck the Guzma. He can lele. Ah, field blower. Right. It's okay. <laughs> so you definitely top like the field blower. Lucky boy. Wow, he missed the elixir. That's that's quite rare. Most volcano lists are playing what fourteen energy now. Do want to attach the energy? And the lucky hits. <laughs> oh man. Right. So at this point we can bench that Eevee. It'd be good to have uh Oh should we? Should we not? Um let's see. There's already five items. There's probably gonna be more. We don't really need an Eevee anymore. We actually want another like, Trubbish for more Garbodors. So I could go DC here. Uh, choice ban onto this Trubbish. Let's go with Sycamore. Great, so we have the Garbodo for here. We can... So it can be very um, irritating here. What I can do is this. Get the Lele. Actually telling him that I want to go for the Guzma next turn. Lock up. Yep. This is this is fine. Not ideal but fine. So 
So now you must know that if he doesn't do anything this turn, I would 100% be able to kit the KO on the Vulcan EX on the bench. The one which she's been trying so hard to get energy on. Okay. Yep. So he wants to get the hit on first. That's fine. But I want to save the choice band. So I could go. Um. Well, I don't really need to save the choice band. I can just put DC here, and I still win the trade. Um, this is fine. So we got one more Guzma out of the prizes. It's a very strong hand. Let's check how many items he has. One, two, three, four, five. Still five, alright, so. Cabrador still is not doing anything. I would go with the Lele route. So, what do I like to do here? Let's see. I could go for Tapu Cure. Uh, of course, I would just Guzmar up one of the Volcanians and then I can go for Tapu Cure. Actually, that's not too bad a play. So, that's. I, I probably could do that. I'll just go Super Up first. So, I want to get back an EV. Uh, don't really have much to get back actually, but let's do let's do this. Go back into the ones. I would go more up. It doesn't seem like a very valuable play, but essentially I get a fresh Espeon, so it's not too horrible for me, actually. And I still have a very explosive turn next turn, so it's not all bad, and I still have to lock up. I just want more items in the discard. It's only 5. Um... So I really want more for my Garbodor. Ideally it should be 7, so I can knock out Lele's. That's one more. Okay, he has not played a single tool. So, <laughs> that's good discipline right there. So that's 6. I'm doing 150. One more item, I'll do 170, and then Garbodor suddenly becomes strong enough to take out Lele. Right now it seems fine. Okay, he has a Guzma. It's going for the Garbodor. Okay.
Hmm. Not a very good hand, but I'm just going to drop the, cup, the Coco. I was hoping to get at least uh, another Espeon, uh, another EV. Take a knockout first, I guess. So for all intended purposes, it's probably going to be the Turtonator coming up. Oh, it's Lily, okay. He has to be really careful though, if he's going to go down this route. Because I play DCs and he doesn't. The only way he accelerates energy is Max Elixir. But that's only to the bench. Choice bank goes down. It's on a very dangerous line here. He's probably banking on the fact that I don't have the last DC. Or maybe he's gonna end me. This is my last DC. So I have one choice band and one DCE left. Yep, so it goes for the end. I think that's the correct play. So he's saying that he can two-shot my Lele. <clears throat> I still have a very thick deck. And that's a very bad hand. Ho oh. ho. And we don't top deck anything. So it's still only six items. Uh, <laughs> Espion doesn't do anything right now. Should probably retreat here. And uh, this got this. So it's just 20 short, unfortunately. The good thing about it is that he has no energy on any of his fire Pokemon right now, but that can all change once Turtinator uses Nitro Tank GX. For now we are relatively still safe. So I don't think this is the Salazzle deck anymore. This is actually the... Um, the full-fledged Volcanian, which explains how streamlined the, uh, the deck is compared to the last match. There's an escape rope, so he's going to go for the nitro tank this turn. Yep, so I'll set up my Coco, which is fine. A top deck of a field blower right now would be great, so that I can actually hit 190. We have not seen a single field blower yet. Yep, nitro tank goes off.
we still have quite a lot of resources in the deck. We have we, we just need to draw a supporter to get them out. The Superrod probably was not a good play. Now I have um, a few dead cards. Oh no, hang on, I, I can use Eevee, so it's not really that dead. I can actually chain through my Espeons. That's actually quite important. Alright, so everyone has 2 energy. And I draw the Lele that I really needed, which is great. So, let's go Lele. Yes. Right now, I think... I think the best course of action would actually be a Sycamore and Hope to get the DCE. Because Flying Flip will, will be able to knock out the Lele on the bench and actually set up for a KO uh, for both either Espeon Jax or the Garbodor on the Totonator, which is which is superb right now. So let's go for the Sycamore. So there's 22 cards in deck. Let's go for the Sycamore and hope to get the DCE. We do not get the DCE, but it's still fine. We got to get the, um, the Field Blower. So let's do, let's do that. Get these two things off. So let's do a double check, just in case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine with the choice band, that's equals a knockout. We can actually get the EV down. And get this. Uh, you could also put the energy on the Tococo, but I, I think that I'll be able to get into the DDC eventually. Right, so do I should I discard cards from my hand? Because I'm going to draw... Uh, let's see how many energy left we have left. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there's still quite a bit of energy. I'll hang on to the choice band. Because it's actually quite important. Let's grab a Trubbish out. Uh, no, let's grab a Lily out. So if anything dies here, we have a Lily. So let's retreat into the Garbodor. And let's trash the lunch for the knockout. Down to one price. We have the Goose Waffle game as well. <clears throat> So, in hindsight, we should probably put the choice band down. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's not good. We could actually lose because of that. Here's only one end left though. Three fine G's in. One steam up. Does have the Guzma? Oh, wait, hang on. He has to kill the Garbodor. Okay, so it's good that we held the choice Ben, because that is his second field blower. Yep, another fire energy, and okay, instruct. And he gets the end. Wow, okay, so we're down to one card. It's an EV. So in hindsight, this energy should have been here to increase our outs. <laughs> Ooh, this is down to the wire. We don't have that many uh, draw supporters left in the deck. We have an N, which is, you know, um, I'm going to thin my deck, I guess. By one card, would that make a big difference? Yeah, it, it would actually. So, so we could have won. <laughs> we could have actually won the game. Uh, if we put a second energy on the Coco earlier. Let's put it there now. Okay. 
Okay, so it does run Booker Hill. That's the first one I've seen. Yeah, a few misplays from mine will probably cost us this game, but let's see. Struck for two. You can, you shall not get the cards you need. No Guzma for you. Wow, so it gets a sycamore. <laughs> Alright. What do you need to win this game? Choice ban and steam up. That's it. It's going for it. Yep, you got it. you got it. That's the game. Very well played. So we really messed up. We should have identified our win condition. And we didn't. So that's a loss. But it's okay. Let's go for our last match for this video series. This is actually a very good hand. You can immediately start drawing into cards. So he's playing Espion Gob. Alright, so it's a mirror match. And he's going first, which actually gives much more value to um, Coco. good as well. Starts with a Lele. <clears throat> Probably go for the Bridget turn one. <clears throat> Something that we don't need to go for, which is very very good. Okay. Ooh, a second DC. Now I won't want to seek more. Uh, these guys are pretty valuable in this matchup. Oh no. So do I give them two extra cards? Yeah, I probably have to. <clears throat> it's not too bad. We can hang on to all these. We don't have to play any of them right now. Uh, and we don't want to play uh, an item that activates the Garbodos. We can go for a Flying Flip. This is actually pretty good. So now every single Lele is within range of a Psychic from Espion. Right, so let's say Pearl City. That's okay. We have quite a good hand to go off next turn anyway. He has to deal with the Coco this turn. If it doesn't, uh, it's going to get out of hand. Okay, and that's fine. <clears throat> we still don't know what we priced. Oh, that is not fine. Oh, that's not too bad, I guess. So I don't think he's able to deal with the Coco, which is great. We can spread again one more turn. 
Ah, okay, he's going, he's going to go for the retreat. Okay. That's good for us because we can choice ban. The um, EV and go from there. Ooh, that's good for the Garbodor as well. So we could drop the Garbodor down. We could go for. Now, the problem right now is that if he has a. Um, if he has a Floatstone and energy here to the EV, he can easily swap into the other Espion. But it's alright, I think we should just go for this play anyway. It's the most optimal play we have. Let's check what we priced. So we have one EV priced. We have both Trubbages here. We have all the Garbodors. We have all the Lily. We have one Ultra Ball priced. One Choice Band priced. One Float Stone priced. Yeah, so it's not horrible. That's a very good turn for us. As Brown comes down, choice band. So he's able to return choice band. Oh wow. That is really lucky. Why would you even try that? I don't know. Uh but <laughs> Okay, alright. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> Okay, all right. There's no any. Oh, so he did have an energy. So that's the reason why. So I should not be ending him. Um. So I think I retreat here into the Coco. And just keep this up. This is really ruining his board right now, so it's pretty fine doing this. So I think both of us are quite keen not to play any items, which is rightly how we should play this game. Ah, okay, so he goes for a Guzma. That's fine, I have a Floatstone. So now you know why I'm actually a big fan of Topo Coco in this deck. It's uh if you can't deal with it, it's actually really difficult to come back from it. So I've got turn off three flying flips and just look at the damage on his side of the field. <clears throat> Essentially the mirror match with Garbodor is um it's it's just more or less a a game of chicken to see who blinks first. Um, when I say blink, meaning when you, you know, play item cards. So. There's a few lines of play that I can do here. I could just go with a flying flip and just maintain this hand. Or I could field blower this stuff off. Lele for the Guzma, bring out the DC Eid. 
Espion? And take that out. Uh, I don't really need to do that though. I can just still maintain this. I think I do this. I take three prizes this turn. Yep, looks like the game broke for a while. <laughs> Did the game just break? Oh, alright, so it doesn't break yet. Yep, so it was probably holding on to the end. Or maybe just top deck the end? I don't know. We're still in quite a commanding position. And this is actually... Whoa, okay, this is pretty good. <laughs> So I think here we should go for the um the espion I would think that's the one with energy on it. Or we could even go for the Tapu Lele. What other lines of plays do we have? We have... I'll just bench this first. This is fine to bench. To buy some time. The problem with Garbodor is that it only can do 40 damage right now. So... Do we have any items in here? We don't. We don't have a single item. Which is good. <laughs> Uh, the thing is, if I go for the the um, the espion here, I get two prizes, which is fine. It doesn't set me up for my prizes later in the game. Uh, small item. I think it makes more sense to just go for this. It really does. Three hundred damage. <laughs> Overkill. This is good. I think this is the uh, most interesting game we've had of the um, the three games we've played so far because Garp mirrors are very technical, I think. Oh, one more energy is a knockout. Okay. So I think you can see from, from both these decks um, in front of you, 
uh, our knees and mine. <clears throat> okay, what's he doing here? Ooh. All right. Uh, there's a inherent consistency issue, I would think. So you've seen both one of us drawing it after a while, but the deck is still powerful because you have stuff like energy evolution to to get the the ball rolling essentially. <clears throat> okay, this is interesting. Okay, more items in the discard. That's the um the third one. Probably looking for a Lele, or maybe only place two. I don't know. All right, going for an Espion. I'm not a big fan of that because, um, in any case, I win if I get to retreat this. I can't play that. That's unfortunate. So I should probably just attach an energy here. Maybe I don't know. Probably yeah. And let's just go up from there. So an energy wins as a game extend. Yep. This hand is pretty dead. I've not seen a single lily. Even if I had one right now, I can't play it because Pearl City is in play. Okay, Garbotoxin is up. And Sycamore. Wow. Nice. Probably a top deck, I don't know. But I think in any case right now, a, uh, a Guzma, my only one left, is going to win me the game. So he probably has a Guzma for next turn. And that's the game, unfortunately, for my friend Armani. Here we go, retreat. And let's just psychic for a knockout. All right, that's the end of our video, our matchups. So, a thousand and twenty damage done by the Espion Jax, which is pretty insane. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Uh, we will definitely have more content up soon, so do stay tuned at the Rainbow Wing. We will have all the links updated from YouTube and uh, Facebook and whatnot, and our website as well. So here's another view of the decklist. Let me know what you think of this. It'll probably be up um, on the 4th or the 5th of October. So we have a few more days until the League Challenge. You know, if you think this is a deck for you, try it out. Um, by all means, if you think uh, this exact list works as well, just go ahead, play it. It's probably one of the lists that I would play if I was um, keen on this deck for this weekend, which I am. Uh, oh, sorry buddy, we are, we are done. <laughs> so, essentially guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. See ya.